We are in Gothenburg in Sweden. It's in the north of Europe. My name is uh, Sanna Gottby uh, and I represent the feminist party in Sweden, Feminist Initiative. It's the first feminist party uh, in the world uh, that's in any type of government. Uh, so we are currently in 13 cities uh, in Sweden and I'm uh, in the city council in Gothenburg since three years back. We are a social ecological party that uh, we strive for sustainable development and uh, feminist politics an anti-racist party uh, as well. For us in uh, Feminist Initiative it's really important with political education because without knowing about government, how it works, you can never really truly participate in politics. So we try to have political school, so we do lectures for people about things like housing, uh, how work, the work, work uh, placements uh, in, around the city, about feminism, anti-racism, different type of topics uh, and we try to ask people what type of change they want in their society uh, to teach people about government. Democracy for me uh, is grassroots democracy where it's the people who decide and uh, not an elected few that are, that are only elected every four years. For my, me, that's not democracy. Uh, I'm quite inspired by the Zapatista movement in Mexico and the Rojava revolution. Uh, and I would like to see something similar of that in, in Sweden, uh, where we have uh, local assemblies where people can meet. But for me, democracy, it's not democracy if it's not feminist as well. And if it's not based on an ecological dimension. Uh, so that's also important because uh, patriarchy, capitalism is what creates hierarchy and without that dimension we will never uh, get a truly democratic society. In my organization, the Feminist Party, uh, we ha have a non-hierarchical structure, so we are the only political party that works without leadership. Uh, we still have political leaders, but uh, they don't have like the right to decide. It's Every decision is uh, chosen by our members. So, for example, which types of topics that we're going to work with during elections, it's the members who vote uh, around that. Every single meeting is open for everyone. Uh, and what's important, if you, you can become a politician, even though you don't have any experience. I didn't have any experience when I became a politician. I, I wasn't even a member <laughs> of the party. Uh, so I became a member after I was elected. <laughs> so that's really important. And we've even had undocumented migrants on our lists for politicians. So it's open for everyone. For me, direct democracy is when the people um, decide what they want to see and not only uh, any person, but the person that's most affected by a decision. Um, and um, I think that in order for that to happen, uh, I think people have to start caring more about politics and, and realizing that politics is something that's uh, affecting you in your everyday life. Uh, and that cannot happen if we don't start to school people, teach people about politics and make people want to participate, create um, a society where, a collective society where we share and uh, we care about each other.